Hey guys and welcome back to another video. Today I'll be doing the next part in our series of how to make a story game which would be cutscenes and one stop. But before we get over to this video, I would like to say thank you so much for 100 subscribers. You do not know how grateful I am. I woke up that morning, checked YouTube and I saw 100 subscribers and I just started screaming. I'm so grateful. So thank you all for that. Thank you for all the support you've done. I can never be more grateful. Oh yeah, I don't know if most of you guys realize, I've got a green screen now. I'm so cool. Okay, I did I cut that out. Okay, for the first thing you need is the mon- First thing you need to do is go to the two links in the description and download those two models, which will be the cutscene camera script and monster. Before we get on, I would like to say thank you to Poncho Kings for creating the monster and the script. His tutorials will be in the link in the description and his channel should be, will be in the link in the description. So check them out too. Okay. So, yeah, if you don't know how to get it, first you need to go to Toolbox, click these four squares, and then click these two. Once you've done that, we can get on with the video. Alright, so first the monster, the monster is the person that kills you. In most story games, they have a monster. So, yeah, this is a monster. You can change the skin of it, but you can also try and mess around with the scripts. But if you're not that confident, don't mess around with the scripts but yeah you can change it you can change the skin color you can change it to how like if you want it to be like a clown or a zombie you can change it to any way you like so yeah we also have the cutscene camera script so yeah this this script will function the whole cutscene so yeah do not mess with the script at all then so drag the cutscene camera script into start a player and the started character scripts next add a folder into replicated storage rename this folder to uh, rename this folder to remote add a remote event now go to the cutscene camera script and copy these camera intro play and put it in the name of that remote event so Add another remote event and rename it to camera two player event. Okay, now we've done that. We technically have the whole thing set up now. So first thing you want, I want to do is like for, for my, my the story, I would like them to teleport to the other side of the forest and they'd be like, wait, what's that over there? And then they see the monster and they're gonna be like, run! The monster killed them. Okay, first I gotta figure out where the other side is, so other side is there, so let's go there. Oh. Then you gotta, let's, I'm gonna drag the monster somewhere here. Okay, so they're gonna be like, what's that over there? So I'm gonna just rotate the monster a bit. Okay, now we need to create the cameras for where this monster be. Okay, because I want this to be like a statue of the monster. I'm gonna right click and duplicate it and take delete all of the scripts in one of them so yeah one of them won't have script I'm gonna rename that to monster statue I don't know and where the second monster I want when they the cutscene ends I want the monster to appear here and start chasing them because the teleport thing is right there so yeah that's how I want it to work okay so I want the monster appear here so now let's create the camera All right. so first you're gonna click part you can set the size of it to 2,2,2 that makes it a perfect cube we can change this co cube color to red so as you know this will be way the camera will be facing so we're gonna duplicate this and move it to change this color to green so the, the green cube will be the camera and the green cube will face wherever the red cube is okay so we can rename the red cube to target target and we'll rename the green cube to a camera 
let's uh, let's uh, make, put a, them in a group and rename this group to camera group one. Okay, now let's let me adjust it so that it faces the monster. Okay, I think that should be good enough. Make sure the, the blocks in here are anchored and make sure can collide is off. Okay. Okay, now let's go into our main script. So server server script server main script. Next go to our cutscene camera script and copy these two. Right click copy. Go to main script. I'm gonna separate this apart so cutscene remotes and I'll paste it right here. Okay, now we're done with that. We'll scroll down and we see they teleport to the other side. We're gonna do wait five and we're gonna do camera interpolate event fire all client so that will start the so this will start the cutscene. We're gonna declare the camera blocks. So we're gonna declare the camera which is the green cube. So game dot workspace dot camera group one dot camera, and make sure to do C frame so they know the position of the camera. Alright, then we're gonna do comma and we're gonna declare the target block so where the camera will be facing. So game dot workspace dot camera group one dot target C frame. Next we can do at least one. So what these numbers will mean? Is how long will it take for the camera to move towards the thingy? So one will be like pretty fast, two will be a bit so one will be go we will go like that fast, two will go so it'll take how long? So one second for the camera to go there, two seconds to go there, three pretty long. Or if you want to go very fast, go at least 0 0.5, but do not go below than 0 0.5 as it will break the cutscene. So we'll go like one second. I'm gonna be like I'm gonna say set message speaker random broadcast message guys what is that over there? Okay, and then the now we don't want the monster to be here the whole time, so we're gonna drag this monster statue and the monster into replicate storage so when they teleport you're gonna wait five we're gonna do local monster statue equal game dot replicate storage dot monster statue and we're gonna clone it next we're gonna get the clone so monster statue and we're gonna put it into the workspace so monster statue dot parent equals game dot workspace maybe guys what is that over there oh wait at least wait until that sentence is over and we're gonna be camera wait we're gonna be wait at least one second camera two player no camera back ah. camera two player event and fight all of that so bring the camera back to the player next we want to delete the monster statue so we're gonna do wait 0 0.5 and we're gonna do monster statue colon destroy next we're gonna bring the actual monster so we'll do local monster equals game the replicate storage dot monster clone or we'll do monster dot parent equals game dot workspace and yeah I think that should be it next also make sure the green and red cube make sure transparency is set to one and yeah i think that should be it so let's click play okay i'm loaded in hello guys i'm over here why the hell is this act like none of that happened act like it's not floating hello guys let's go to the other side of the forest so as you guys can see the dialogue is working transition teleport to the other side wait at least five seconds guys what is that over there you see guys 
guys can see, the monster <coughs> does kill you. And as you guys can see, I died. I can respawn for 20 seconds. <coughs> I will respawn, as you guys can see. And yeah, as you guys can see, everything does work. So yeah, thank you for watching. If this really did help you, please make sure to put a thumbs up and subscribe. And comment down what other tutorials you want me to do. But other than that, thank you. And I'm out. Meow.